Hey everybody, this week we're going to be looking at the Tata Electronics Fuzz Face. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, as always, just a reminder to like and subscribe down below. So this week we are looking at another do-it-yourself effects board. This time it's from a company that I normally just buy parts from, but I wanted to check out some of their boards as well. So we are looking at the Tata Electronics Fuzz Face. Now if you're familiar with the Fuzz Face circuit, or if you watched some of my videos in the past, you'll know that the Fuzz Face circuit is pretty standard across the board. There's not a lot of components to it. It's really just a two transistor circuit that's gonna boost your gain, get those square signals, and bring you lots of fuzz. That being said, Tata Electronics has done a great job in doing basically what I would call almost a dev board for a Fuzz Face. It's very small. Uh, it allows you to build both PNP or NPN style Fuzz Faces and basically choose the transistors that you want. I mean, that's kind of what you're doing, right? You wanna swap out whether it's PNP, NPN, or whether you wanna use germanium or silicon transistors. Uh, everything's kind of taken care of in this little board. Uh, it has a spot for an internal trimmer, which would set your biasing if you're swapping those out. And then obviously it has the spot for your two controls, which would be your fuzz and your volume. Yeah, nothing much to this. It's great for people who know the fuzz face circuit and wanna play around with it. It's also great for people who just wanna build a fuzz face for the first time. Now, I just bought a couple of these fuzz face boards. If you go on to Tata Electronics, you can also buy the full kit. I'm not exactly sure if that's just a kit of components or if it comes with the enclosure, something I might have to double check and put in the description below. But essentially, you know, you can buy that kit and there is an online instruction guide that will walk you through how to build a fuzz face. It'll give you suggested components for the transistors. I will say that it is more directed to a PNP style setup. Uh, it does tell you how to do it if you're using the more common, probably NPN style transistors, or at least more common today. Um, not too crazy, really it's just changing polarity on your capacitors and obviously your voltage. But yeah, for the most part, um, you can order this, just the boards and then get your components from Tata if you wanna maybe switch off from the original kit, or if you just want simplicity, you can just order the standard kit from Tata. So I've already went ahead and built a Tata fuzz face you can see here, I'll show you the inside. Um, nothing really to talk about here, it does fit nicely into a 1590B case. I'm using uh, 2N1308 germanium transistors, so this is a germanium fuzz. Um, you can see here the little internal trimmer pot, uh, that will allow you to set the biasing. There's also a little uh, probe point here where you can actually use your multimeter and easily read the biasing. You don't have to worry about you know, trying to touch some of the legs of the transistors. Uh, one thing that I also did here too is I socketed my transistors. So if I wanna pull these out and switch it up later down the road, as long as they're NPN, that's easy to do. Um, other than that, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it on the inside. I will say I probably could have done a better job spacing my uh, audio jacks here. You can see it's a little bit tight. I probably should have used the mini jacks. I am using a really wow breakout board for my three pull double throw switch. And yeah, LED uh, power supply goes into that as well. On the outside, not a lot to talk about really. It's just two controls, which you'll see on most fuzz faces. You've got your volume, which is pretty standard. Turn it up, more sound, turn it down, less sound. And then your fuzz, turn it up, more fuzz, turn it down, less fuzz. So that's pretty much it for the Tata fuzz face. A couple hints for the build and maybe a slight mod that I did make on this one is uh, one, your Initial your Q1 transistor, you want to make sure the gain of that is usually less than your second transistor or Q2. So you think of your cascading these transistors one into the other. Try to get the gain for one less than the gain for two. It kind of helps knock out some of that high frequency noise. Um, I was still getting a little bit of this uh, when I kind of turned up the fuzz. So the easiest modification for that and uh, you know one that is pretty common if you look at a lot of fuzz phase circuits is to just add and I'll, I'll not sure if you're gonna be able to see it here, but if you actually add a 100 picofarad capacitor between the two collectors of your two transistors, you'll cut out a lot of that high frequency noise. So that is one mod that I did for this build here, and uh, it did help, well, you'll hear it in the demo, but it did help knock out any high frequency noise from the fuzz face circuit. So with that, I might as well give you guys some sounds. Uh, basically just gonna run it through a uh, clean Fender Blues Junior. Uh, it is a germanium fuzz, as I mentioned, and I'm actually gonna be using my new Telecaster Deluxe with uh, some humbuckers in it to just give you an idea of what it's gonna sound like. 
Uh, really, it's fuzz, so there's not a lot to be gained here. It's just a ton of distortion. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and uh, let's have a listen. <laughs> you guys enjoyed that demo of the Tata Electronics fuzz phase circuit with some 1308 germanium transistors. Uh, I am looking at doing another video down the road that will look at swapping these out with maybe some uh, NPN silicone transistors and we'll just run through different transistor types and look at the or listen to I guess the difference in sound. That's all for this week just a quick one hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.